Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Raise Your Frequency. My name is Diamond Leone, and today we are going to tap on attracting great people into your life. Because here's the deal, whether it is a romantic partnership that you're trying to attract in your life, or if it is, you know, maybe you just wanna have like some really good quality friendships. Maybe you've gotten to a place in your life where you look, you look around and you're like, you know, I really wanna have more people in my life that think the same way that I think, um, or at least along the same lines, who have similar goals, who are in the same chapter of their life, where we could support each other, we could grow together, we could have each other's back. And then also maybe it's you are, you know, a entrepreneur and you want to find more pe like-minded people within your circle, right? People that you can network with, that you can support their businesses, they can support your business. You guys can brainstorm over, you know, um, some, some great business ideas and just really help each other grow. So I thought it would be phenomenal to tap on that to help us be able to attract those type of people. In order to have these people in our life, we have to attract them, right? Which means that there's parts of ourselves that we need to change. It doesn't really have anything to do with the other people. If we want those people in our life, we have to become a better version of ourselves. We have to come out of our shell. We have to get off the sofa. We have to come out of our house. We have to connect with the outside world, even if we don't feel like it, even if we've trained ourselves to be introverts and, um, and to be withdrawn. But the truth is, if you wanna have an, a magical life, an amazing life, you're going to have to put yourself out there. You're gonna to have to take those risks. And yeah, you're gonna to have to take those risks. And that's just how it is. But it doesn't have to be scary. If you can think of taking these types of risks and putting yourself out there as a challenge to your personal growth and something that is exciting, um, where you can just sort of relax and just be yourself, but then also at the same time attract amazing people, it's a win-win, right? So if you're new to tapping, go grab some water so you can stay hydrated and you're gonna meet me back here and we're just gonna get right into it. You guys, you're just gonna repeat after me. I am ready to meet some great quality people. I wanna meet people that think like me and who want some similar things in life as me. I want to meet people who are into growth, success, and making money. But also people who have a deeper awareness about life. And I realize now that in order to meet these people, I've got to put myself out there. I've got to be ready to take the risks. There's a newer, more better version of myself that I can tap into. And that's the version of myself that is going to attract these people. I know that I'm a little bit nervous to put myself out there because maybe I've told myself that I'm just shy or an introvert. But I know that everything starts with that first step. I see myself having more friends. I see myself attracting the right quality partners in my life, whether romantically or professionally. And those people are going to be attracted to the bold version of me. So I'm going to challenge myself to look into some networking events and go find out where these people hang out. Like where do they naturally go?
I'm going to make myself more interesting. I'm going to find ways to have a juicier life. Because the truth is, if I want to attract interesting people, I've got to become more interesting. And I know that there's so many layers to my personality that I haven't even tapped into yet. I've just got to get out of my own way. But I am making space right now to challenge myself. To just take that first step and reach out to people. Because surely there's other people out there just like me who want to make friends and expand their networking circle. Sometimes fear is so much bigger inside of our heads than it is in real life. I know that I have so much to offer these new friends. And I'm super excited to see what they bring to the table as well. We can all learn so much from one another. And there's a saying that your network is your net worth. So whether it's romantic partnership that I seek, or maybe it's expanding my friendship circle, or maybe it's networking and expanding my networking circle for my business. But regardless, all of those things require me to be a more bolder version of myself. So I release all self-consciousness around getting out to meet new people. I don't need to feel afraid or nervous. In fact, I'm releasing all of that old limiting belief programming that's inside of me. All of those beliefs that tell me that no one's gonna like me or that I'm going to be rejected or that maybe I'm not interesting enough. All of those are just lies that my brain tells me to try to protect me. The truth is I do have so much to offer other people and I can always find new and better ways to become more interesting And I have so much to offer. So I'm challenging myself right now to find new ways to connect with people. So I'm probably gonna have to cut back on my Netflix and cut back on anything that keeps me inside my house and away from the outside world. I'm gonna push myself to just get out into this big, beautiful, bold world. I know that I'm gonna meet new people and it's gonna be exciting. Life is a journey and it's meant to be lived. And the more people that we have around us, the more we can grow. So I am stepping into my new version of myself right now. I am going to take the risks no matter what. I'm going to push myself to just get out here and meet new people and see where it all leads. 
I might be scared, but I'm gonna do it anyway. What if they like me? What if we really hit it off? <laughs> I know it's gonna be great and I'm ready for it. And so it is. Take a deep breath, hold it at the top. So guys, I just wanted this to just be a quick tapping session to encourage you to break past your own internal belief system that keeps you playing small, that keeps you at home, feeling like an introvert, you know, stuck sitting on the couch, watching other people, you know, step into their power and feeling like you can't or that you're just not that type of person who would go out and meet new people. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. It all ta all it takes is just that first step. It's always everyone has to start somewhere. So if you're not a natural extrovert, I'm not saying you have to just run out and just like, you know, run into a crowded room and hi, you know, my name is Diamond. I'm here to be your friend. No, 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 no. I'm saying just start small, like figure out what it is that you want, um, you know, what type of interests you have. Are you trying to grow your business? Are you trying to grow your friendship circle? Are you looking for a romantic connection? Figure out what you want to have in your life. What type of people do you want to have in your life? <clears throat> and in order to attract those type of people, you've got to be more interesting. You've got to be more expanded. You've got to be just a more bold version of yourself. And when I say a more bold version, what I'm really referring to is that you have to just get out and try new things. It could be taking a dance class. It could be you know, signing up for a personal development seminar, if that's your thing. It could be, um, you know, joining a bowling league. Um, I don't know, like whatever it is that you're interested in, those people are out there and they want to be friends with you. They're looking for someone like you. And you have to understand that. And you have to like unprogram all of the old limiting beliefs that you have carried with you up to this point that are not serving you. Because if you are sitting at home right now and you're watching this and you're feeling alone and you're feeling like, oh gosh, like why can't I just meet the right people? It's because you're not challenging yourself in the right way. You're not asking yourself the right questions. Like when you start asking yourself, what are my interests? You know, who, what, what do I like to think about and talk about? and start there and then you can figure out where you can put yourself in an arena that you can talk to other people about those same topics because guess what if you like talking about basket weaving let's say there's other people out there that want to talk about basket weaving and all the different ways that you can do it and all the different colors and the designs and all of it like all of it so i challenge you to do this tapping session when you are feeling like okay I'm ready to bust out. I'm ready to bust out of this cage that I've put myself in. I'm ready to get off this couch. I'm ready to meet new people, attract new people into my life, romantic or otherwise. Friendship, business, it doesn't matter. We need other people. We need each other and we need to have community and we need to connect and we need to stop going it alone and thinking that, you know, well, where are these great people? They're not going to come beat your door down and find you on your sofa. Like it just doesn't work that way. So I want to challenge you do this tapping session, pull yourself out of that old way of thinking and challenge yourself to step into a new identity where you visualize yourself networking with people and laughing and talking about things that fire you both up and excite you because Life is so much more beautiful when you can share those beautiful parts of yourself and the things that you're interested in with other people. So anyway, I hope this tapping session has helped you in some way. Please leave a comment below and let me know perhaps um, what your greatest challenge is with respect to getting out and meeting people. Um, yeah, I would love to know. And also if you have any suggestions for anyone else who might be reading the comment section about how to get out and network and meet new people. Um, yeah, please leave a, a comment, please like share and subscribe to our channel so we can grow our little community here. And I hope you guys have a great week. Thank you for watching. Bye.